Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Uh, today I want to show you how I build my shocks on the IF142 uh, car. So um, let's go ahead. So to start, we have our parts here, the shock parts. Uh, shock body, membrane, top, um, body, etc. So we start with the shock body and the o-ring. Here I like to use a little bit uh, oil on the o-ring. Just take a few drops of oil, and soak it in a little bit. I put this in the shock body. Then we take the the piston, which already screwed in with the shim. Put it in the body, like this. Take the elastic shim and the bottom screw with the shock body. this some paper to tie it up then I want to make sure this is all free and you test also the different uh, different shocks you have and make sure all the o-rings feels good and free. And we take our plier. And screw on. Here it's important not to screw this one in too tight. And that you damage the, the hole for the ball. Make sure it's free. And check the with the caliber. So we check here that the space here is 9.5. It's perfect. Make sure it's free. Okay. And it's time to fill the shock. Fill it almost full, not completely full. Then I like to work uh, work the oil around a little bit with the piston. You can see the bubbles are coming up. Like this. Then we put it in our air remover. <laughs> Like this. Then I like to leave it in the air remover for about, uh, let's say, five to ten minutes. So after a few minutes, when we see the bubbles almost gone, we lift our air remover again. And the shock is filled. I normally use the 475. We can now see there's no more air bubbles inside. Take our uh, membrane and slightly push it in. You can see all the oil is going out. What I like to do now is to push the piston all the way up. I hold the membrane a little bit and push the piston very slowly all the way to the top. You can see the oil is going out. And 
and then I like to push the membrane down a little bit, remove the last last bit of oil. So this we make sure we have no rebound when we push the piston up. Put the top piece on the top top screw body. Screw this one in. Take some paper. Tie it off. Remove the excess of oil. And there we have the shock all cleaned up. Check, push the piston in. We check the, there's no rebound. And it's a good smooth feeling. Feels good. So we just make the same, same steps on the other shocks. Uh, check the length. I used the 9.5 millimeter. And uh, make sure when you push in, you have the same, it may be move out just a tiny bit. That's because the piston is touching the membrane a little bit. But just make sure you have the same, same gap here on the other shocks. The same amount of rebound. And that's the way I like to build my shocks. Um, again, please send me a message if you have uh, any questions. And uh, that's it for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, see you next time.